So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at center of gravity in Cinema 4D Dynamics. So I'm just going to create a couple of objects. A cube. A sphere. Um, a cylinder. And a cone. If an object is symmetrical at the top and the bottom, like these three objects, and assuming that they're all made from the same material, um, the center of gravity is going to be roughly in the center. So these axes handles we get in Cinema 4D are pretty much also the center of gravity of these objects. Uh, when it comes to the cone, however, um, this will not be the center of gravity because if you think about it, uh, the cone isn't symmetrical at the top and the bottom, it's much wider at the base. So if this was made from a material like uh, lead, uh, the center of gravity is obviously going to be kind of towards the base a bit more because it's really thin at the top and most of the weight distribution is going to be down here. So there is a way to see the real center of gravity in Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to select all these objects, go to Tags, Simulation Tags, Rigid Body, and I'm going to set the shape to moving mesh because that's the most accurate way to calculate dynamics. And I'm going to turn dynamic off. So I'm going to go to edit project settings, dynamics, visualization. Uh, I'm going to check enable and then I'm just going to look at collision shapes. So I'm going to forward the simulation by one frame. And you'll notice we get the collision shape uh, mesh, which is the green mesh. And we can basically see our uh, kind of axis handles for the cone, but then there's a second, second axis down here, which is quite hard to see. So that's our uh, object selection axis. And then we've also got this axis here. And this is basically the real center of gravity. And Cinema 4D Dynamics is calculating uh, the center of gravity. So that's one trick to check the real center of gravity. So if you want to uh, customize the center of gravity, you can do this. Um, we can go to the cones uh, dynamic tag, the rigid body tag. And if we go to mass, we have this option, custom center. So if I check this option, I can actually modify the center of gravity. So these values are X, Y, Z. So I can basically adjust the center of gravity. It's pretty hard to see, but uh, you can see a You can see the axis is moving as we change the value. So this cone is uh, 200 high. So if I was to set the center to minus 200, that should be at the base. And it's gone all the way down here, so maybe minus 100. And it looks like the axis is at the base now. It's pretty hard to see, but. Uh, it's there and it's quite confusing because we can see the original uh, center of gravity as well so you might ask uh, like why do we want to do this so I'm just going to show you a quick example I'm just going to delete all these objects and I'm going to create a capsule and a floor object going to give them both rigid body tags. I'm going to set the capsule uh, shape to moving mesh. So if I play this back, capsule falls down. That's because uh, Cinema 4D is basically assuming the material the capsule is made from is even. So I'm just going to go to project settings and turn off the collision shapes. So I'm going to adjust the center of gravity for this capsule. I'm going to go to the tag, mass, go to the mass uh, tab, check custom center. So if this is uh, 200 centimeters tall, by uh, 
setting the y value to minus 100, this should put the center of gravity right at the base. So if the center of gravity is at the base, it's basically as if this material is really heavy at the bottom, but then it's kind of hollow at the top. So I'm just going to play this back. And you can see that this time the capsule hasn't tipped over. So I'm just going to rotate it slightly, just to illustrate it better. And I think the center of gravity might be too far down. I'm going to set it to minus 50. And as you can see, it's kind of trying to steady itself. I'm going to try minus 90. There we go. So basically refuses to tumble. It's as if it's got a lead weight at the bottom and it's hollow at the top. So that's the basic look at uh, center of gravity and how to customize it. If you found this useful, please share it and thanks for watching.